Brittany Pero is a college senior. Like many of her peers, she has taken out college loans, has a full-time job, and volunteers in her free time. It was at the volunteer post where Pero learned of a professional opportunity unrelated to her college studies. I taught leadership and life skills to high school students. So I've been able to put together lesson plans before, and I've worked with young students, and so I was like, I know I can do this, so Teacher America was perfect. Teach for America is a nonprofit organization that recruits recent college graduates and professionals to teach in low income communities across the country. With the job market soft and the labor force crowded, Pero realized that this idea could become her new reality. The thing that stuck most with me is one of their recruiters had called me and had a conversation on the phone with me for about an hour about t telling me about the achievement gap and telling me about the program. And it just sounded to me like, wow, like, how have I not? considered this before. Katie Johnson is another soon-to-be college graduate who came to the same realization that Pero did. Johnson has been an active member of Jumpstart where she met her buddy Renique, who changed her mind about teaching forevermore. She couldn't write her full first name and she was five so that's at that point you should be able to write your full first name and when I left she wrote her full first name, her middle name, and her last name and she was doing that without any prompting from me. Like she would be like, can we go sit down and write my name, please? And I'd be like, sure, Randy, we can go and write your name. She'd be like, I just want to show you that I can do it, because I can. And she was so proud of herself. Oh, it warmed my heart. Pero and Johnson have high expectations as to what they will be getting out of Teach for America. I want to walk away knowing that my students believe in themselves and that they want to keep learning and they want to succeed. And they want to get an email like three years later from one of my, my students telling me like, Miss Pero, I'm applying to college and um, I thank you for inspiring me. If I ever have a moment that even is one eighth of that, one eight hundredth of that, then I'll get what I want out of the program. Pero and Johnson hope not only to pay back all of their college loans, but to make an influence on their students that they will take beyond the classroom as they plan to. Reporting in Boston for EIV News, I am Bianca Pitaluga.